Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or for those that are new here, hello my name is Alicia. So in today's video I thought I'd go through a few of the reasons why me and my husband Jaden love living in the country. So obviously country life isn't for everybody, it's definitely a way of life, um, you either love all the space and the responsibility that comes with it or you don't. So from a young age I have always wanted to live in the country. I was fortunate enough that my parents did um, live on a lifestyle block when I was younger and I'm so happy that me and Jaden were in the position to be able to buy this beautiful 10 acre property here in New Zealand so that Logan can also grow up on the farm like I did. So the first reason that I have is that I feel like the country gives you more opportunities to become more self-sufficient. So you've got the space to be able to grow big veggie gardens like this one behind me. You can put in a home orchard, you can get a few chickens and collect your own eggs, you can grow your own meat and you can even collect your own rainwater. I feel a sense of security that I'm able to provide all these things for myself and that I don't have to rely on other people. Especially with the pandemic that's been going on for the last few years, it definitely cemented why people should be more self-sufficient and it definitely made me appreciate my veggie garden a lot when I went to the supermarket and there was hardly anything on the shelves um, and also even seedlings and things like that were getting sold out so yeah it definitely made me appreciate the way of life that I chose um, in trying to be more self-sufficient. I definitely love being able to grow my own produce and meat because I know what's gone into it. I know that all my veggies are spray free, um, not chemically enhanced with anything. I bought carrots from the supermarket and they last for ages in my fridge but then when I pick them out of my garden they only last a week. So it really makes me think like what are they putting in our veggies. So yeah, I like that I know what is um, being put on them. Same goes with meat, I know that the animals have been brought up and grown humanely and had a real happy life and I know what has been um, going into them so I feel better about the meat that I'm eating. Same goes with your chicken eggs, I love that we can give our chickens a really happy life and the eggs definitely do taste a lot better than the supermarket ones do. Same goes with water, when I go to my sisters or my mum's house who live in town and I taste the water, ugh, it tastes like chlorine. I really appreciate the water out here when I come home and taste that nice spring water. Alright, moving on to my second reason and that is country life definitely keeps you fit and healthy. You are always outside, shifting stock, moving fences, feeding out, mowing lawns. Um, you're always outside and you're really, really physical. Even on the days where it's raining and you really don't want to go outside and you'd rather just snuggle up on the couch and watch TV, the animals need you so you have to get out there and do all your morning chores. So this is great motivation and it's also a lot cheaper, you don't need all those gym passes because there is a lot of physical work to do out there in the country. So yeah, that is definitely a good reason that we live here because it definitely keeps us fit and active. Now my next reason is that you're always learning new things, always developing and learning new skills and always are expanding your knowledge. Now here is a perfect example behind me. This fence was the first fence Jaden ever put in um, and since then he has learnt so much um, all about fencing. You should see the fencing he does now, it's like a professional level. So yeah, farming definitely gives you more opportunities to learn. Sometimes you've got no choice if a fence breaks and your stock's out, you've got no choice but to learn how to do the fencing. Um, same it goes with if there's a water leak, you better learn damn quick how to fix that pipe otherwise you'll lose all your water. Same goes with sick unwell animals, you've got to work out really quick how to treat um, those animals. So yeah, you're forever learning on the farm and I just love expanding um, knowledge and learning something new every day. Alright, so my next reason I think the country life is amazing is that I think it is a lot more safer than being in town. So what I mean by safety is I think there's a lot less crime uh, because there's a lot less foot, foot traffic going past and outside your house like there would be in town. You can also leave your car unlocked when you want to go inside. It cracks me up when friends come over and they lock their car um, before coming into my house and I'm like, what? Why would you lock your car? Like, who the heck's going to come here and take your car? I also think it's safer for your kids to play. You can just say, go out in the paddock ride your bikes um, and you don't have to be there with them. 
Whereas in town, you obviously don't have as much room, so you've got to come with them. Um, if they want to go on their bikes, you might have to go walk with them to let them ride their bikes up and down the road. So that brings me on to my next reason, and that is less opportunity to own different kinds of animals when you're in town. Um, also, you can only own two dogs maximum when you live in town, which is what I found out. So we're so lucky we live rural so we can have three dogs. When you live in town you obviously can't own livestock and things like that. Um, so it definitely gives you less of an opportunity to do things like calf club at school and things like that. So I'm so glad that Logan can grow up here in the country. He can be around horses and pigs and calves and sheep and all the different animals. Moving on to my next reason and that is the amount of space that you have living in the country. Unlike when you live in town, you are not close to all your neighbours, so you definitely have a lot more privacy here. They can't listen in on your conversations most of the time. It's also great for your kids. They can kick the ball around without worrying. It will go over the fence or onto the road. And they can get motorbikes and horses and ride them around. It definitely gives you a lot more opportunity when you have more space to work with. I mean, like I said earlier, the country isn't for everyone. A lot of people do become quite overwhelmed with the amount of space that you've got to maintain and care for. So it is definitely a lifestyle not for everybody. When we were living in town, we didn't like it there. We just couldn't understand how people live in those 400 square meter lots. We just felt so claustrophobic. Everyone was close to us and we just didn't have the freedom that we feel when we are here. Moving on to my last reason why I love living on the country and that is I am never bored. There is always something to do which I love. I can't stand being bored and having nothing to do. It was amazing in lockdown. Last year New Zealand went into lockdown for about five or six weeks and I remember a lot of people messaging me that live in town obviously that they were so bored and they were confined obviously to just their property um, and they had nothing to do. So yeah I was really happy living on the country because our life pretty much went on as normal and we had so many things to keep us busy. Oops, sorry about the wind. The wind is starting to pick up now so I have resorted to being in the shed. But that pretty much was my seven reasons why we love living in the country. Of course there is a lot more reasons that I could come up with but that would be a very long video. So like I said earlier, living in the country isn't for everybody. It definitely comes along with a lot of responsibility. It's not as easy as just packing your bag, jumping in the car and going away for a week. Obviously you can't do that when you live on the farm because you've got lots of animals to take care of and um, lots of responsibility. So yeah, it's definitely a way of life. I wouldn't change it for anything. I'm not really a traveller anyway, so yeah, I guess you're either someone who loves being at home, loves um, living on the land, loves animals, um, loves the fresh air, or you're that person who loves traveling, that live on the grind, they love people everywhere, they love, you know, like technology, um, everything like that. So yeah, it's just two different kinds of people, I guess. So yeah, if you're thinking about moving to the country, there's obviously a lot of factors to consider, but it is definitely a good move if you're thinking about it. It's an amazing way to live, an amazing way to bring up your kids as well. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.